what a BiPAP machine is or why it's so crucial? Well, you're about to find out. A BiPAP or bi-level positive airway pressure machine is a life-saving medical device designed to assist individuals with breathing difficulties. It's particularly beneficial for those battling sleep apnea or respiratory insufficiency. The BiPAP machine works on a simple yet effective principle. It delivers two levels of pressure during the breathing cycle. Inspiratory positive airway pressure, or IPAP, and expiratory positive airway pressure, or EPAP. Now here's where the magic happens. During inhalation, the machine delivers a higher pressure, known as IPAP. This pressure helps to open the airways and facilitates the entry of air into the lungs. Pretty neat, right? But that's not all. When you exhale, the machine switches to a lower pressure, known as EPAP. This pressure prevents the airways from collapsing and maintains an open passage for the next breath. It's like having your personal breathing assistant always there to give you a hand when you need it. BiPAP machines have proven to be a game changer for individuals who have difficulty with continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP therapy another common treatment for sleep apnea. The dual pressure levels of a BiPAP machine can be more comfortable for some patients as it allows for easier exhalation. But the benefits of a BiPAP machine don't stop at sleep apnea. It's also recommended for people with certain respiratory conditions such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD and neuromuscular disorders where breathing assistance is needed. So, to sum it all up, a BiPAP machine is a medical device that delivers two levels of pressure during the breathing cycle to assist individuals with breathing difficulties. The higher pressure during inhalation, known as IPAP, opens the airways and facilitates air entry into the lungs. The lower pressure during exhalation, known as EPAP, prevents the airways from collapsing and maintains an open passage for the next breath. BiPAP machines are often a preferred choice for individuals who find continuous positive airway pressure therapy challenging. They're also recommended for people with certain respiratory conditions where breathing assistance is needed. In the end, it's all about making life a little easier for those who need it. And that's what a BiPAP machine does. It's more than just a machine, it's a lifeline for many. So next time you hear about a BiPAP machine, you'll know exactly what it does and why it's so important. But can you die on BiPAP? The answer is yes, but in other situations, it can save lives like we do, for example, with intensive care at home, and we can prolong life at home if that's the wish of a client and a family, of course. Study indicates that a trial of BiPAP is effective in improving gas exchange reducing intubation and length of stay in hospital in patients with acute respiratory failure, suggesting that NIV is a safe and effective means of ventilator support for patients with acute respiratory failure. Patients usually start on BiPAP for this condition, but if this therapy doesn't work, they are switched to ASV. ASV machines are also used to treat patients who have been diagnosed with OSA but who go on to develop patterns of CSA that bi-level PAP does not relieve. Using a BiPAP machine involves several steps. It's important to note that specific instructions can vary depending on the brand and model of the machine. Always follow the guidelines provided by your healthcare provider and the manufacturer. Here is a general guide on how to use a BiPAP machine. Setup. Place the BiPAP machine on a flat, stable surface near your bed. Connect the tubing to the machine. Attach the mask to the other end of the tubing. Adjust the straps. If you're using a mask, adjust the straps to ensure a secure but comfortable fit. The mask should create a seal without being overly tight. Connect the machine. Plug in the BiPAP machine to a power source. Connect the tubing to the machine and the mask. Turn on the machine. Press the power button to turn on the BiPAP machine. Adjust settings. Your healthcare provider will have prescribed specific settings for your therapy, including the IPAP, inspiratory pressure, 
and EPARPI, expiratory pressure. Use the controls on the machine to set these pressures according to your prescription. Start breathing. Once the machine is on and the settings are adjusted, start breathing normally. The machine will deliver the prescribed pressure levels to support your breathing. Monitor usage. Pay attention to any indicators or displays on the machine. Some devices provide information about mask leaks, therapy duration and other data. Shut down. When you wake up or finish using the BiPAP machine, turn it off by pressing the power button. Cleaning and maintenance. Regularly clean and sanitize the mask, tubing and humidifier components as per the manufacturer's instructions. Replace any disposable components like filters as recommended. Follow up with healthcare provider. Attend regular follow-up appointments with your healthcare provider to ensure that the BiPAP therapy is effective and to make any necessary adjustments to settings. Always consult with your healthcare provider or a respiratory therapist for personalized instructions and guidance on using your specific BiPAP machine. BiPAP is the application of a two different levels of pressure. There is a lower pressure that is there during expiration EPAP, and then the pressure increases to a higher level during inspiration IPAPI. If you need to be on BiPAP for more than a few days straight, you need to be able to take breaks. This means either breathing without a machine or getting extra oxygen through a small tube, cannula, just under your nose. If you're on BiPAP for sleep apnea, you can use it at night indefinitely. Typically, you'll use a BiPAP machine at night to help keep your airways open while you're sleeping. This aids the exchange of oxygen with carbon dioxide, making it easier for you to breathe. For people with COPD, this means less labored breathing during the night. Depending on the BiPAP machine settings, the switch between IPAPI and EPAP may be timed or automatically based on the user's breathing patterns. BiPAP machines have a typical pressure range of 4 to 30 centimeters, H2O. Both BiPAP and CPAP settings must be determined in an overnight sleep study or polysomnography. If you have trouble breathing, a BiPAP machine can help push air into your lungs. You wear a mask or nasal plugs that are connected to the ventilator. The machine supplies pressurized air into your airways. It is called positive pressure ventilation because the device helps open your lung. No, removing BiPAP is a decision to stop a medical treatment and allow the underlying condition to take its natural course. Removal of BiPAP results in the person's death, usually within hours. Doctors tend to use them in cases that aren't severe enough to require intubation. For instance, a BPAP machine might be used to treat respiratory failure caused by a COPD flare-up, pulmonary edema, or pneumonia. They're also used to ensure proper breathing after taking someone off intubation.